Being able to predict the impact of weather conditions on agricultural, industrial and recreational activities is crucial, not only for South Africa's economic growth, but also to ensure the safety of its citizens, for example, in coastal zones. Meteorologists are trained to read and interpret weather data such as temperature, rainfall and cloud formation. Dr. Mary Jane Mubabe is a meteorologist who specializes in atmospheric modeling to contribute to the understanding and prediction of climate change. I am a meteorologist at the CSIR in Pretoria. Meteorologists work on different aspects of the atmosphere. Others are focusing on the forecasting of the atmosphere. Others study the atmosphere using observations while others focus on studying the atmosphere using atmospheric models. One of the biggest misconceptions is that a meteorologist has to read the weather on TV. Um, the broadcasters tend to hire meteorologists to read the weather because they understand what the weather maps are showing. Meteorologists are important because we make weather forecasts and those are helpful. For example, we need to know what to, how to dress the following day or whether or not to plan our events to be outdoors or indoors. And with our work, we can also make forecasts for seasons so we can help farmers and people that you know, plan water resources to plan what the season is going to be like better. And we can also use our atmospheric models to study what the effects of the greenhouse gases. Most of the work that, that I do is focused on multi-decades, so it's basically climate change work. So we make simulations with an atmospheric model that was developed in Australia and we make simulations for a long time using anthropogenic greenhouse gas concentrations and with our model we are able to see how climate is likely to change because of the changes in greenhouse gases. This is an example of output from that model. It is showing the heat waves occurrences in the period 2041 to 2070 and this map below is showing the heat wave occurrences in the period 2071 to 2100 and you can see that in the map below we are going to experience more heat waves compared to the period in the for the compared to the period 2041 to 2070 so our model is able to show that and we can also use output to look at what's going to happen with droughts and with floods in the near future to the youngsters that would like to be meteorologists, I will say to you, study very hard um, your mathematics as well as physical science. If you are doing geography in high school, I will say work hard on it as well because when you get to the university, you'll, get, you'll have some background on meteorology that you would have learned from your geography. And I will say again, if you are presented with opportunities, make full use of them, take advantage of what's presented to you and work very hard uh, because I have traveled the world right now because of the opportunities that were presented to me and the degrees that I have at the moment. I did not think that I would have them when I left Limpopo many years ago.